he touched me. Shackled by a heavy burden, neath the load of guilt and shame. Then the hand of Jesus touched me, and now I am no longer the same. He touched me, oh, he touched me, and oh, the joy that floods my soul. Something happened, and now I know he touched me and made me whole. Since I met this blessed Savior, since He cleansed and made me whole, I will never cease to praise Him as eternal ages roll. He touched me, oh, he touched me, and all oh, the joy that floods my soul. Something happened, and now I know He touched me and made me whole. Oh, what a marvelous song. Oh, what a man. Favorites of all time. It is just so marvelous. And oh, I can always just feel Jesus reaching down and touching me in that song. And oh, I can just reach up and just say, He, uh, he touched me. Oh, and just feel His hand reaching down singing this song. It's just, it, it just gives me such a feeling of power and such a feeling of the love of God. Oh, to know that he will actually reach down and touch us and actually touch us all through our soul and heal our soul and fill our longings. Oh, yes, when we lift that cup up there to be filled and he reaches down and touches us, fills our cup and gives us all of that joy. It just so overwhelms me. Whelms us sometimes that, oh, yeah, I, I, I was listening to that song in a, in a public place, uh, you know, kind of like a mall or something one time, and all of a sudden, it just touched me, and I just screamed out. I mean, of course, everybody looks around, you know, and, uh, and uh, but I didn't even realize I was even doing it. I just, woo, and you know, you know, tongues and everything else, and it just really was a marvelous touch, you know, and, and then and there was another time when when uh, <laughs> I would have my hands up in the air listening to He Touched Me and Fill My Cup, and a friend called me <laughs> on the phone. I heard the phone ring. <laughs> and I went over and answered the phone. And it was somebody that was uh, trying to argue against uh, <laughs> the, this kind of an experience of being, uh, you know, of God actually reaching down and touching you and filling you and baptizing you with the Holy Ghost and everything. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> He was on there just going and going and going, and I, I just started praising the Lord and just screaming out, and he didn't know what to do. <laughs> and and I, I think I just finally left the phone and went running in the spirit, you know. And so, uh, you know, it, it surprises people sometimes what will happen when Jesus actually touches you. When he actually touches you, and in that kind of a way, where all the joy that floods my soul. I mean, it don't just touch you like touching you on the shoulder. It's like the joy floods your soul. Totally floods you, not just a little little bit of cheer. Like a lot of people think that the only joy, the, the kind of joy we get from God, you know, oh, we sing a few songs, we get a little cheer. Get a little cheered up. 
feel a little better for a day or two. And, and then we go about our business and then come back again on another service and feel, feel a little bit of cheer for another day or two. But they don't realize that it is actually can blood your soul with such joy that you never forget it for years and years and years. And, oh, that's the kind of thing that can really can happen to you. But it is... Uh, and so that song always reminds me of that and I always get retouched again. Uh, but it is now uh, 7 p.m. Central Standard Time in the United States. And that is time for our effective healing class. And we are on lesson number 43 of, uh, of uh, effective healing. And so, uh, whether it's 42 or 43, <laughs> I'll label it correctly, and uh, we'll go ahead. <laughs> so, uh, uh, we was talking about becoming more joyful and full of true energy every day and being grateful and rejoicing and all those things. And then we were saying that, no, that you cannot think uh, uh, that... Uh, the things that God has prepared for us far above all of our thoughts and our imaginations are the things that he has prepared uh, for them that love him. And we see that, you know, over here that you cannot think or allow flow any good thought that is not a thousand times more greater than any amount and availability that you could possibly think or write or say. And um, so then we... Uh, then we went ahead to realize that there is no fear to uh, to the end of this energy, you know. It's like this joy that floods our soul. It takes away fear. It takes away all that fear. It releases from all that stress. I mean, after I uh, would reach up like that, you know, you reach up like that, reach your hands up and down, you know, that, uh, he touched me, oh, he touched me, and all the joy that floods my soul. And you do that a while. You listen to that song over and over for a while. It it is just like you have slept for an entire week without waking up. Then you are that refreshed and energized from that. It just totally uh, relieves you of all stress. I mean to tell you, and you're just ready to run 10 miles. And I, I have I had gotten out and walked for a mile in 20 degree weather uh, without a coat on, just short sleeve shirt after listening to those songs, getting filled with the, with the Holy Ghost and all. And it, it's just that powerful, you know. And it's so powerful in your ability to witness when you really get a good end feeling like that. And so it, but there's no fear. It's that no fear in, there is no fear to this endless energy or this endless joy. You know, separating joy from energy, that's, uh, you know, uh, joy is energy. It does provide energy and energy and joy. A lot of times, you know, they're, they're together. Just almost, uh, you know, you've almost taken them, take them together, you know. That real joy of the Lord. The joy of the Lord is our strength, you know. And so you don't want to get off into some of these things that talk about energy and energy healing. The healing is from God. It's divine healing. It flows through this blood of this joy and through this receptivity and everything, you know, and it has nothing to do with some of the, these forms of energy. Healing can do some limited healing, but they're nothing like the healing that comes from that joy, what we could call joy healing and love healing. You know, the combination of love, joy, and peace that floods you and floods your receptive mind and just a general awareness that God is present to always do the healing. Doesn't take any other kind of thing. Okay, so then we realize then that that inner, okay, that uh, we have endless energy available to us by tapping our inner power. You know, uh, and uh, there again, you know, you got to, be careful that you're getting your inner power from the divine source through Jesus Christ and not just uh, getting a, 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 what seems like an inner power from some source or from, as they say, the source. And they don't know whether that's the real source or that's some uh, counterfeit or fake source or what kind of source it is. It's just something that's appearing to them as a source. 
But we, when we go in the name of Jesus in our prayers, then we clear all that. And that assures that the source is actually, that coming in is actually coming through Jesus by his blood and being cleared through his blood. And it's actually the source that is coming from that omnipresent, omnipotent, uh, omniscient God who is the only God who is all in all and with us and always here and always here with his healing power. And anything else is counterfeit. So in this energy available just by tapping our inner, inner uh, source, we can... We can reach this power through silent meditation and truly asking for it. Everything is energy and, well, uh, that's a quote from, uh, that is, you know, one of those, it's, it's kind of like this, you know. Uh, there's some truth to it, some not. Okay, so the more energy we receive, the more we will realize is there. It will compound and draw. As uh, it'll compound and it'll draw I interest. <laughs> yeah. Oh, well, that that is what happens too. That joy. The more we go to God and ask for it, the more we got to God and receptivity. Our joy and our energy. <coughs> um, I'm just going to replace that word energy with joy because joy, joy is the real force of you know energy. And joy through love and all like that. And so, uh, but it compounds uh, and draws interest and gets greater and greater and multiplies and multiplies. And so, as we do it more and more, to some increased awareness will more be added. You know, he that hath the more will be added. Uh, oh boy. Well, this is going all off into. <laughs> different things here that are not exactly I'm just going to have to teach this thing myself you know I mean uh, I, I mean just teach this thing in the present tense and not drawing on those uh, notes uh, but uh, some of those things that were beginning notes and everything and so we uh, we need to realize then that this joy of the Lord and this love of the Lord that provides us all the true energy that we can ever have or anything that would ever actually do away with stress. It's not something that comes in like a buzz of vibration or frequency or something like that or something where we're becoming some kind of a ascended master or something like that or all these kinds of things you know that are going on out there and all kinds of anything you you want to see is there you know and uh, provide anything they think somebody will listen to but uh it is a the love and the joy of the lord that comes from us being fully receptive to him that does away with the stress and that heals of disease and that provides the healing power and that clears the resistance and that gives us everything that we need for the healing of our bodies. All of that healing is provided, but God wants us to go through Jesus to his love and his joy and clear all of that resistance between us and healing through gaining more of the real joy that Jesus left us and the real love that he demonstrated on Calvary and <coughs> let those things flow through us more and more and compound as we say more and more and more until it clears the resistance does away with the fear to wipes out all fear and lets us see the healing power it was already there uh, but we had to get rid we had to let love cast out the fear and joy cast out the doubt and then we could see it <coughs> and so we're going to pray right now that everyone listening to this will 
But receive the healing that they need and Lord, did you just get in there and just take out every root of cancer, take out every root of COVID-19, any, any kind of bronchial infection or any kind of viral infection, everything. Oh, dear God, and just clear people of all COPD and all emphysema and give them a breathing ability. Lord, just, we just pray that you'll heal people and give them good, strong kidneys and heal them of all uh, pancreal problems and everything uh, of the diabetes or anything like that. And Lord, just heal people of liver, just restore their liver and restore them and uh, break the addiction to alcohol and all the nicotine and smoking and all your God that you just heal people of back pain heal people of osteoporosis and give them good strong bones and, and good strong joints and heal them of all uh, arthritic inflammation and all rheumatoid arthritis and dear God just heal people of all lupus and all all uh, uh, scabies and all, all shingles and all the uh, 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 multiple sclerosis and now dear God we just pray that you just lift people up to a high place uh, in the diet joy far above all oppression and a sense of oppression or depression or obsession with the habits of this life and just break them addiction to all drugs all all uh, all, all of the uh, methamphetamines and phenobarbitals dear god and all of the crack cocaine and the heroin and everything alcoholism and all nicotine and smoking for we ask all these things in the name of the holy son jesus amen amen and amen oh yes amen i'm happy though yes sir